In the previous video of menstruation mathematics, we learned how to find the volume of the frustum, and in this video, we're going to learn uh, how to find the curve surface area of the frustum. All right, we have already discussed the theoretical part. Now here we're doing uh, exercise part. All right, the slant height of a frustum of a cone is four centimeter, and the perimeter. Uh, means circumference of its uh, circular ends are 18 centimeter and 6 centimeter then find the curve surface area of the frustum okay so the question is saying uh, something like this we have a frustum let's say this is the upper circular part of the frustum and and the lower part let me make lower base which is circular again this is lower and this is the uh, upper one and the question is saying uh, 4 centimeter is uh, the slant height, right? The slant height means this slanted height. Both are equal, right? Though my picture is looking so crappy. Uh, this is slanted height. This is four centimeter, and uh, we have got the radius, right? The first radius, and we have get the circumference of the upper circle and circumference of the lower circle, which is base actually, and this is top. So this is eighteen centimeter circumference that means actually it is 2 pi r and 2 pi r1 let's say uh, lower radius is let's say r1 and similarly if you go in up then this whole complete we have got 6 centimeter right let's say this is r2 so it will be 2 pi r2 equals to 6 all right and we need to find out uh, the curved surface area uh, first let me write what is the curved surface area curved surface area which is also known as uh, lateral surface area curve surface area of cone of frustum we had learned uh, that is equals to pi l r1 plus r2 all right this is the formula that we had learned in the previous video in theoretical portion and now we can just put the values of r1 and r2 and everything okay uh, so we know l we don't know r1 we don't know r2 so what i'm gonna do I'm going to write this L first and then I will write here pi all right and I'm going to divide by 2 and I'm going to multiply by 2 all right and then it is R1 plus R2 so for that it's going to be L over 2 and this 2 pi will multiply R1 so I'll get 2 pi R1 and again this 2 pi will multiply this R2 so I'll get 2 pi R2 okay and now let's plug the all values all right the length we have got that is 4 centimeter slant length or you can say the slanted height 4 by 2 times now 2 pi r1 2 pi r1 we have already got 2 pi r1 that is 18 centimeter and 2 pi r2 we have already got that is 6 okay and this is 2 times 2 uh, that's 2 times 18 plus 6 that is 24 which is going to be 48 and since this is area surface area so it will be centimeter square so the surface area of this cone is 48 centimeter square very simple and we have another method also after this uh, after this you can directly get the value of r1 and r2 and then you can plug like this uh, like like first you solve 2 pi r1 equals to 18 you have here right 2 pi r1 is 18 so you can write r1 is equals to 18 by 2 into pi pi is actually 22 over 7 so 7 will be up so 2 times uh, 9, 9 into 7, that is 63 over 22. And similarly, you can write 2 pi r2 equals to 6. All right, 2 pi r2 equals to 6. And then you can find out the value of, uh, find out the value of r2 as a 6 over 2. And pi, that is 22 into 7. And this is 2 times 3. That's going to be 21 over 22. All right. So now, uh, you know r1, you know r2. You can put the value of uh, 63 by 2 here, 63 by 2. And now you can put the value of 63 by 2 and 21 by uh, 22 and you can get the answer uh, like this here uh, that is uh, that is pi which is 22 over 7 l is given by question that is 4 and r1 uh, recently you find out 63 by 22 and 21 by uh, 21 by 22 so it is 63 by 22 plus 21 by 22 and further it's going to be now 22 of a 7 into 4 into now 63 plus 21 that is 84 divided by 22 and now uh, 7 times 12 because 12 times 7 is 84 and you 
22 22 will cancel up and 4 times 12 that is 48 centimeter square so again by this method also you can find out so anyhow whatever you feel easier right doing that way that will be a cow surface area and there are a lot of questions to solve you practice all the questions from your textbook and other exercise book and if there is any problem then you can feel free to comment and send me the message all right and don't forget to subscribe the channel bye bye